Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about Interactive Ruby. Now, Interactive Ruby is basically a little application that we can run from the terminal or the command prompt, and it essentially allows us to test out and use different Ruby commands in a sort of sandbox environment. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what it is and how to use it. Um, the first thing you want to do is open up your command prompt or your terminal. So if you're on Windows, open up your command prompt. If you're on Mac, open up the terminal. And I'm just going to run this and I'm just going to type in terminal. So now that I have my terminal open in here, I want to make sure that I have IRB installed. So sorry, IRB stands for interactive Ruby. And this is the program that we're going to be running. So what, all you want to do is type IRB hyphen V. And this should spit out a version number. Now, as long as you have Ruby installed on your computer, you're probably going to have IRB. But if you don't have IRB installed, so if you didn't get a version number for that, then just go online and you can look up, you know, how to install IRB. And here's the thing, it's not absolutely necessary for Ruby. So maybe just like watch this tutorial, see if it's something that you think you're gonna use and then go off and download it. But if you have it, you should be able to follow along with me. So I'm just gonna type IRB, I'm gonna hit enter. And now you'll see that I get this little prompt with this uh, sort of like greater than sign. And essentially this is interactive Ruby. So this is the IRB. It's essentially like a little application that we can use and we can just test out little Ruby commands. So for example, I could create a variable, let's call it num. I could set it equal to 123. I'm just gonna click enter. And now I could test out a Ruby command. So I could say like puts one, two, three. And this is gonna go ahead and print out the number that was stored in the variable. So essentially you can execute any like valid Ruby commands from inside of the IRB. So I could create like a method and just, we'll just call it say hi. And down here you'll see now I can write whatever is gonna be inside the method. So I could say puts hello. And now we can end off the method. So I'm just gonna click end. And now I can actually like use that method. So I can do like say hi and this is gonna say hello. So you can find methods, you can find variables, you can find all different types of stuff. Um, you could use things like if statements or you could use you know while loops. You can use all the valid Ruby commands that you could normally use inside of a file inside of this interactive Ruby. Um, and, but basically this is just an environment where you can go to test out you know, different functionality. You could test out a little uh, method, you could test out a function. And it's an environment where there's literally no setup required. So you don't have to like create a text file, you don't have to run the text file from the terminal. You can just go in here and try different things out and it's like very much like a sandbox environment. Now here's the thing, this is really good if you're just trying to like test certain things out or you know, see if something's gonna work. But generally, if you're going to be writing like actual Ruby scripts or actually Ruby actual Ruby commands, you want to do that inside of a file. So this isn't a replacement for like writing code out in a file and like doing all that. This is a special environment that you want to use basically for like testing purposes. But this can be really useful. And a lot of times if you go online and you see like different Ruby tutorials, they'll be like using the interactive Ruby command line just because it's like so useful and so easy to set up. So really, I just wanted to kind of introduce you guys to this and expose you to it so you know what it is and like what it's doing. But I would say for the most part, you know, you should be writing your Ruby code inside of a text editor. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.